We all know that college board exams can be pretty tricky, and there's no doubt that the SAT subject test in biology is going to be tough too. So here are some tips and tricks for you that will help you study better and hopefully get the score that you want. First of all, if you're taking AP Biology this year, you'll have to know that the SAT includes some extra information that isn't covered in the AP curriculum, specific stuff about plant structure and human physiology. If you haven't already, I highly advise you getting your hands on an SAT Biology prep book, since it will have diagrams of all different types of plant and human structures. One other thing that you'll need to know is the names of hormones and where they come from. I put a link in the description to a list of virtual flashcards that I created for all of the hormones you might need to know, and you can use them to help you study. In addition, a diagram of an eye or an ear will occasionally pop up on the test. It's always better to be safe than sorry, so I also highly advise looking over those too. Remember, there's not a 100% chance that these things that I'm listing will be tested on your specific SAT test, but it will be better for you in the long run. Another tip that I have for you is to keep the central biology topics in your mind. Depending on the test you decide to take, either ecological or molecular, the test will tend to stress different topics at different levels. For example, for the ecology test, about 22% of the exam is questions on evolution, while for the molecular test, only 15% is about evolution. Here's the complete chart. Obviously, there's more of an emphasis on what's going on in the cell for molecular biology. But for both, organismal biology takes up a quarter of the test, meaning you should definitely look over the human and plant structures that I mentioned earlier. For choosing which one you should take, either E or M, I would say for you to go with the concepts that you think you understand the most. If you're big on evolution, go ahead with ecology. If you're a pro at photosynthesis and other cellular processes, choose molecular. Some people skim over the questions of both the ecological and molecular sections on the day of the test and choose which one they'll take depending on the easiness of the questions that they see. If you think you're an all-around hotshot at bio, feel free to use that option too. Just watch your time and if you can eliminate at least one answer choice to a question, take a guess. Like all other tests, or anything in life really, the best thing to do is practice over and over again to get better. Get as much exposure as you can to any biology test questions you find. I've also included in the description a link to the College Board SAT website, which has a bunch of practice questions there. Overall, you should review the material frequently, get a good night's rest before the exam, and you'll do fine. Good luck! You guys are going to rock it!